Hi guys, welcome back to yet another fun DIY sailboat refit video here aboard good old Athena. If everything goes according to plan, then in this video you guys should see me mount the last of the new bulkheads, as well as tear out the last of the old bulkheads. And that's going to be really cool, because that's going to give you a sense of the space in the new layout. But uh, let's head up. This right here is the bulkhead I'm going to be removing. There's going to be a new bulkhead immediately aft of this one, identical very much to the one over here, which is the first of the new bulkheads I've put in. If you're new to my channel, the changes to the layout are brought on by some structural repairs. So we're going to go from this layout to this layout. The bulkhead I'm going to be removing is this one, and the new one is going to go in back here. Now that might not seem like a big difference, but I think it's going to open everything up, and it will allow me to move the chart table out of the aft cabin into the main saloon. The first step is going to be to tidy up this area so I can get started ripping everything out. I am a little bit bummed out about having to rip out my beautiful new wiring here, but there is no way around it. I've cheated a little bit and off camera I've already cut the first piece of the new cabin sole over here on the port side. It was my plan to lay up the glass that's going to go over these sections in this week, but the weather has taken a turn for the worse and it's very cold here right now and that makes laying up glass a lot more annoying. So I'm going to postpone this until next weekend, where hopefully the temperature is going to go back up. Before I came to that conclusion, I laid up glass over this little section here, and it was so much more time consuming than when the weather is warm. So I think it makes sense to just postpone it until the temperature goes up a little bit. If you think the area in here looks pretty good, it's because I've basically already freaking finished it. I mean, I've varnished this, I've built this little area for the DC fuse panel, and for a big screen over here, I've taken care of all of the wiring here with the AC panels. It's basically, well, 90% done, but it has to go. So it's bye-bye, nicely varnished, although dust-infested chart table. I'm not going to be able to reuse any of this. But I am going to reuse my Blue Sea AC panels here because they are ridiculously expensive. Of course, the same goes for the beast of an isolation transformer that's hiding underneath the chart table. I guess I can also reuse some of these uh, cable clips here. These were pretty expensive, if I'm not mistaken. With all of the expensive stuff removed, it's time to take one last look at the aft cabin because it's about to go bye-bye. Oh, yeah, and there is one of the famous split-in-half bulkheads that is not going to be a feature of the new layout. That certainly opened up this area quite a bit. Now there's something I want to show you on this bulkhead here. This is 12 millimeter plywood, just like the stuff I tapped to the hull on the starboard side. On the outside of each side here, there's adhered a thinner, about three or four millimeters thick piece of plywood. Without a doubt, the reason they've done this is to hide the tabbing that's up here. And there's nothing really wrong with this approach, except for the fact that this is, as you can hear, not really that well adhered, which is kind of sucky. What's even worse is what is potentially hiding down here. While the old bulkhead down here is not really super rotten yet, it is looking very dark and, uh, well, I think it's a good thing I'm replacing this. Well strike that, it is most definitely a good thing that I'm replacing this bulkhead. There is the jankiest of janky repairs going on here. Wow, this is certainly not the type of repair you want to find in your boat. And look at this. Yep, fully rotten plywood. What makes me say this as a repair? Well, for one, there is some kind of adhesive back here and uh, this back here is not plywood that is solid wood. I am very pleased that I decided to move this bulkhead because 
finding stuff like this now is a lot better than finding it when we're a couple of years into cruising in the middle of nowhere. I'm pretty sure what happened here is there was some rut here. Someone removed that and put in a fresh piece of wood. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, provided you do a good job of it. This is not that. Someone decided in all their wisdom to adhere this wood to the tabbing here with what looks like some kind of sikaflex like adhesive. Not polyester, not epoxy, some kind of sikaflex like adhesive. As you might be able to see, this tabbing here is not even close to being adhered to the repair. Great. Just goes to show, it's never a waste of time poking around an old boat. You always find something that's worth repairing. And well, I was going to replace the bulkhead anyway, so it's not really a big deal. The interesting thing here is when I redid the galley, I did find that repair, but I found the other side of it, so I couldn't see the crustiness of it. So I just figured, well, it's probably a good repair. Nope. This is all that's visible on the other side of that bulkhead, and you can clearly see the repair here, but it's nice and dry. There's nothing that looks too alarming here. I'm guessing whatever leak caused the repair to be necessary in the first place just kind of kept on leaking over the years and the bulkhead kept on rotting, but I don't know. And it doesn't matter because the cure is the same. And in this case, that is to put in the new bulkhead that is going to go roughly here. So we're going to have to cut away some of the cabin sole to make the template. Ready for a light sanding tomorrow and then I can make the template. It's the next day. I've gone ahead and brought down two pieces of plywood that I've prepped for the glass butt joint here. I've also cut all of the glass I will need this weekend for joining these two pieces together and for tapping the new bulkhead to the hull. I've also gone ahead and set up my handy dandy laser level here to help me figure out where I need to prep the hull. Because it's such a gloomy day outside, it should be pretty easy for you guys to spot the red line here. That is going to be the rough position of the new bucket. As far as today, like I said, I'm just going to be using this as a guide for prepping the hole. I'll go ahead and get the hole sanded in there so that I know that the tabbing for the new bulkhead is going to get a nice strong bond. And then we'll get to what's actually my top priority for today, and that's to get these two pieces joined up together. Because if I don't do that today, well, then I can't remove the old bulkhead on Sunday, and I really want to get that into this video. <music> The hull is now almost fully prepped for the new bulkhead. That leaves the slightly fiddly process of getting the two halves of said bulkhead joined back together. This is the exact same process I used last weekend, but you guys didn't get to see the first half of this. The reason for these melamine shelves here is just to stabilize the joint while I'm laying up glass. Before I go ahead and secure this half with screws too, I am going to squirt some epoxy in here in this part of the joint. It is called a glassed butt joint after all. There's plenty of goop here, so now it's just a matter of sliding the two parts together and securing this half. I've cleaned up the little bit of squeeze out. Sadly, my camera is running out of battery, so uh, I'm gonna have to lay up the glass off camera. Good morning, guys. It is a wet and rainy Saturday morning. Yesterday, I backed out the screws that were securing the melamine shelves, and then proceeded to flip the bulkhead over and glass the other side. And that means the bulkhead is now fully joined back together. So I should now be able to flip this thing up. That should give me a little bit more room to move around. 
I've cut the pieces of MDF I'll use for the new template. Now you guys saw me do this a few weeks ago, so rather than going into a lot of detail on this, I'll just link in that video. But there is something else I want to show you, and that is this guy. For me to easily be able to check the alignment of the new bulkheads, I figured it might be fun to try one of these uh, digital inclinometers. Inclinometer? Is that really what this thing is called in English? I mean, that sounds kind of like a made up word. But either way, this should help me just double check the alignment of the bulkheads. The boat is leaning forward and a little bit to starboard. So it's kind of difficult when you combine that with the fact that nothing here is 90 degrees, especially not between the deck and the bulkhead because the deck is slanting up. Well, it's very difficult to see if I've actually put in that bulkhead correctly. But now, thanks to my inclinometer, 88.8 and 88.8. Now I know that bulkhead is perfect. Sure, I could have done the same thing by using a string and measuring the offset from the bulkhead at the bottom, or I could have leveled the entire boat, but I think this is going to come in very handy in a few months. I'm going to get the laser all lined up, but like I said, the majority of you guys have already seen this, so if you're new to my channel and you want to check it out, go back and watch the slightly older video. The new bulkhead is all lined up. Right now it's just secured by those little wooden blocks that are hot glued to the hull. Even though hot glue is awesome, I doubt it's the best choice for structural work, so uh, I need some tabbing on here. And that is the fiberglass I showed you a little earlier in the video. That's this fiberglass right here, it's 600 gram BX. This is the exact same fiberglass and the exact same process as the other bulkhead, so let's speed this up a little bit. <laughs> Ta-da! The bulkhead is now fully tabbed in. Well, on this side. I do still need to take care of this side over here, but having just that one side tabbed is plenty strong for me tomorrow to go ahead and remove the old bulkhead, which I am very excited about. Of course, there is still a ton of work to do to go from this layout to this layout, but by moving those two bulkheads, that's kind of the cornerstones. That will give me an idea of what the new layout is really going to be like. Not just a drawing, but in real life. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning. Sunday, aka bulkhead removing day. I am very excited. A few months ago, I picked up this very chintzy saw saw, and I am sorry to report that you kind of get what you paid for. Since purchasing this, this thing has come off. Also, there was a soft plasticky rubbery boot here. That came off too, but uh, at least so far it's still functional. Ta-da! Old bulkhead gone. Or at least as much of it as I'm going to remove for now. I'm going to keep this bit out here just to help keep the shape of the hull. And this is going to be the new nav station. I think this is going to be perfect. Now, like I mentioned in an earlier video, the new nav station is going to eat into the galley a little bit. But remember, we are going to have that big kitchen island out here in the middle, which is going to add way more counter space than the area we're losing here. So I think it all works out. There is still something I need to figure out here, and that is the door that's going to give access into the aft cabin. On my drawing, I'd put this in as a regular door that would open in this way. 
but that doesn't really leave any room for actually closing the door when you're in here. I mean, on the drawing it does, but with the curvature of the hull, it's, it's gonna be kind of difficult. So I'm thinking maybe some kind of sliding door here would be better. It's also kind of tempting to maybe put the door here, a regular hinge door that is, so that it opens out like this. But that would mean when we're in the boat, the door would have to be closed to use the nav station. So I don't know. If you guys have an opinion, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. It is a giant mess in here right now, and you really have to use your imagination to see what the new layout is actually gonna look like. It'll most certainly help when I get the pieces of the cabin sole attached and I can start building out the interior, but there's still a lot of work to be done before we get to that. This coming week, I'm gonna finish these three sections here, provided the weather forecast isn't a complete lie. And that'll mean the two sides here are completely done. That just leaves this little tiny middle section here, as well as this middle section right here. And then there is this bad boy back here, which might pose a little bit more of a challenge. The bottom of this guy here has been soaked in oily bilge water for about 30 years and that is raw, unprotected plywood. What's kind of funny is the fact that this is not tabbed to the keel down here, so the bit of exposed plywood down here is just flapping around. I have no idea what the thought behind this was. I don't know what to do about this bilge. It is insanely deep and that is kind of annoying because if you drop something down there, it's basically lost to all mankind. And also it's very difficult to clean down there because it is so deep. Now, one of the previous owners filled part of the bilge with expanding foam. And that was a horrible solution because he didn't manage to actually seal that area up. So water and oil leaked in there over the years and left a horrible mess but I'm thinking maybe I should do something similar to that, but only just make sure I seal it up properly. But uh, if you guys have an opinion, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna spend the rest of today just tidying up here about the boat because it is a giant mess right now. And then I might also get the other side of the bulkhead tapped to the hull, that would be pretty cool. But uh, I am gonna end this video here, so I'll see you guys next weekend for yet more DIY sailboat refit fun. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below, and don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. See you!